We're here at the Uffizi for the presentation of a recent restoration of three of the gallery's most ancient works. The three works are all paintings on wood, two crucifixes from the 1200s and a diptych from the 1300s. While the exact date of their creation and the artist responsible for the two crucifixes are unknown, experts believe the first crucifix was made by a Tuscan painter in the mid-1200s, though its providence is still unknown. It has been in the Uffizi collection since 1881. The author of the second crucifix is also believed to have been an artist working in Tuscany. This crucifix was made by the so-called Maestro della Croce 434 and was likely made between 1230 and 1250. It is mentioned in gallery documents for the first time in 1888, and it is characterized by its luminosity and linear style. However, experts have attributed the diptych, which depicts the Madonna with child and saints, as well as a crucifix, to a famous artist from the Luca school, Bonaventura Bellinghieri. The work entered the Uffizi collection in 1948 and is believed to come from a convent in Luca. The three magnificent medieval artworks will be on display at the Uffizi in the former church of San Pier Schiaraggio until March 29, 2013, and entrance is free. After this, they will be moved inside the gallery on permanent display in room two, which also features versions of the Maestà by Giotto, Cimabue, and Duccio di Boninsegna. The restoration of the works was funded by the Amici de Uffizi Association, a non-profit association founded in 1993 with the aim of protecting and restoring the Uffizi Gallery collection and promoting its initiatives and artworks. For details, see www.amicideuffizi.it.